It's perhaps something that we take for granted, medical research into every aspect of our lives. Here at Aston University, it's an ongoing mission with highly qualified people finding the answers to those vital questions which, at the end of the day, will help you and I. So Aston Research Centre for Healthy Ageing is a research project focused around multidisciplinary research. And what we're trying to do is answer questions that are relevant to the everyday lives of our ageing population. So there are five research clusters, the ageing eye, the ageing mind, the ageing metabolism, healing and ageing and ageing lives. What we're trying to do within each of these clusters is to uh, address research from three perspectives. So we, first of all we want to have a mechanistic understanding of age-related decline. We also want to be able to come up with technological interventions to try to understand and help uh, to improve the quality of life of older adults. But very importantly, and I think this is something that, that we, we do very well here at Aston, is we want to understand both the psychological and social context of what's going on as we age. This is only possible because of the unique combination of expertise in Aston University's four schools of study. They are Life and Health Sciences, Engineering and Applied Sciences, Languages and Social Sciences, and of course, Aston Business School. Here we can benefit from expertise in fields such as biology, ophthalmology, pharmacy, engineering, polymer chemistry, psychology, social science and economics. Brian Ty leads a team dealing in the degenerative changes in the eyes as we get older. I like to think of the, the work that we do within Archer, this, uh, this centre, as being rather like a licorice all sorts. So you've got a, a layer that's concerned with socio-economic problems, understanding burdens to society. You've got a layer that's concerned with the molecular understanding, the biological understanding. And then you've got a layer that's concerned with therapeutics. James Brown looks into why a healthy metabolism is vital to healthy ageing. Most people don't realise that a disease like diabetes, for example, takes almost 10% of the entire NHS budget. So in terms of the cost to society, it's absolutely immense. We really need to understand uh, better the causes and, and potentially new treatments for these disorders. As we age, our body's ability to regenerate itself drastically reduces. Richard Martin investigates methods to help it repair itself. But one of the, the best things about this is the fact that we have lots of interdisciplinary groups working together. So I'm from a material science background and I can prepare and characterise materials from that point of view. But the great thing is I've got colleagues who are experts in cellular work and biological aspects. So we can really sort of work together as a team and get a, a complete understanding of some of these materials. So that's quite important. Understanding changes in the brain and neural health as we age is important. Eric Hill. We're trying to look at sort of the biological and psychological changes that occur in the brain as people age and then use these markers to identify changes in people as they age so that we can then come in with interventions that will improve their lifestyle in the later years. Growing old impacts our everyday life. In this cluster, Carol Holland looks into attitudes and beliefs which can deter healthy ageing. As well. So what are the tipping points from where people can cope with changes that are happening and use their ability to plan and change the way they do things and uh, use strategies, um, at what point do difficulties overwhelm those strategies and planning capabilities that people have? And the last word perhaps to those who know all too well what growing old means to them. And what I find now is you get slower. I gave up driving and I say now that was the worst thing I ever did. But not, I didn't knock anything or anybody. I just felt I'm getting slow. And so I gave, that was six years ago. So I can't uh, do as much exercise as I used to do. Uh, I do get a bit out of breath now and again, but I think that's just my age really. I love the young and I think if you mix with the young, they keep you young. I have two beautiful grandchildren. They're very good to me, very kind to me. Some of the things we've just heard about have become a reality. For example, lenses that when implanted permanently can transform an elderly person's life as their sight deteriorates. And tablets that dissolve as soon as they're taken, a huge plus for someone who has trouble swallowing. But of course, there's still a long way to go and that's where you can help by simply following our progress and clicking onto this website. 
It's as simple as that.